I was always getting in trouble and shit. Okay. Always grounded. Always, I'm going to take this away, all the shit, you know? Right. Getting in handcuffs by a couple times, but not like that. You didn't get, a, you didn't get fully arrested? Nah, just not like that until like I was like 16 when I got, when my, my parents moved me out to Mexico. Okay. When you're 16. Yeah, 15, 15, like around there. Why the f would they move you to Mexico? Shit, Never I got heard family out there, so they thought it would be a good idea to throw me over there and maybe I was gonna change, you know? But <laughs> did it have the opposite effect? Yeah. <laughs> what part of Mexico? Shit, I went to Guadalajara Jalisco. Mm. Jalisco. Yeah. San Agustin. And if anything, I feel like that might have turned you up a little bit. Yeah, because I had a lot of freedom out there. Right. It was cool. What were the main cultural differences, though? It was just, like, kind of wild and lawless in comparison? Or? Nah, it wasn't, like, reckless. It just, it was a different lifestyle, you know? Like, over here, it was more about guns and all that weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Gang really? banging. Over there, there was, like, gangs and shit, but it was different. It was more, like, como digo amable, güey? Like more loving out there, the people are more loving, mm. more more. Um, how do I say that shit? When they're traditional, mm. you get what I'm saying. Like, you know, when when kids grow up, you're you're supposed to grow up, have a you know, have a girl, move in, mm. get married, and do the whole shit. You get what I'm saying? When I was like 21, when I first went to Mexico, that was one thing that kind of blew me away is I would be like hanging out with chicks my age and realize, or, or even older, like a 25, 26 year old girl. And I'd realize like she still lived with her parents and that she thought that the idea of moving out was the craziest shit ever because yes. you do not leave your family no. until you're ready to get married, yeah. which is totally different than the way I was growing up where when I was 18, my parents were like, you're either getting a job and you're paying rent or you're moving out and doing your own thing. Shit, yeah. That's how it is out there right it's very like more focused on the family yeah nine to five job the regular give your whole check to your girl mm. type shit give your whole check to your girl holy shit <laughs> that's what the, i feel like that would be very foreign that's to you, that yeah. traditional shit you know what i mean you give your check to the girl and they handle the bills and supposedly you get a damn allowance Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but hell nah yeah that ain't for you no okay no. But so did you live in L.A. before you moved to Mexico or you were just visiting here and there? Not visiting. Okay. I was visiting. Yeah, I was f around, come over here for a while, mm -hmm. vacation, shit like that. But so were you actually getting in trouble in Mexico yeah. or just f around? Yes, I was getting in trouble. Okay. Yeah, and it, over there, like, yeah, they'll beat your ass. Like, mm. the cops going to put you in the back, beat on your ass. You think cops in America are bad until you meet the Mexican cops? I'm assuming it's a totally different level. Man, it's there. I mean, shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie, the Mexican cops ain't playing no game. Right. They be in your ass. Right. And then they gonna handcuff you like, like with your leg up, all types of shit. And they want some money. Yeah, they are gonna always break your pockets. Right. Every time. Every time. Yeah. So even if you get arrested, they're still gonna take all your money? Or you give them money and then they don't arrest you? Shit, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is how much you got. And mm. if you got a lot in your pocket, that's gone. Mm. And they might just go throw you off in, in the desert or something. El Rancho. But what if I'm like, I don't know, what if they catch me with a gun? Which is not very realistic because I don't know where the fuck I'm going to get a gun in Mexico. But what if I got $100 on me? They're going to take the $100 and be like, go do, keep doing your thing. Oh, no. <laughs> I ain't no damn police. Okay. <laughs> but you never got arrested out there? Yeah, I've been arrested. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, I got arrested for some punk ass shit. Okay. For a doobie. A doobie for real? Yeah. Weed is like, and they beat the shit deal. out of me. Damn. Yeah, nah, they just, because I guess we was dressed like straight cholos and shit, you know, dickies, big bags, you know. And so they see pants. that and they're not feeling oh, they, that? Oh, they, what, they ain't, they're not, there's no such thing as getting pulled over over there. They're just running up on you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're running up on you, even if you're walking over here, you know, they, they don't run up on you when you're walking. No. But over there they do. Okay. And they tell you that strip right there in the street, all that shit. Holy shit. Yeah. So at what point do you decide do you come back to America? Shit, my mama told me she was pregnant, so I ended up feeling like I needed to come over here and take care of her type shit. Okay. Yeah. So how long were you actually out there? For like three years. Okay. Three years. You happy as to come back? Yes. Really? Hell yeah. I was living like gutter shit out there, man. It was bad. It was hella bad out there in fucking Mexico. Mm. Bad, bro. It's not the same. We don't get like they don't got like. I mean, they got malls and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But the shoes are expensive as. Fuck. Really? 
it. You know, we wearing the same shit for like a year, two years. Mm. Hell yeah, it's hard. Yeah, like getting fresh out there is yeah. like only for the super rich. Man, if you got some Air Forces over there, you the man. Really? Yeah, well, back then, I don't know how it is now, but shit, back then, you got some little Air Forces, you okay. like that. Yeah. So you come back and you move back to up north? Yeah. And then what's life like once you get home? Because are, are people looking at you different? Because, like, is that like you just went to prison? You just went to Mexico, so you got a little like bit of extra homies, respect. My homies wasn't tripping; like they were just like, like I had moved out, whatever. But it wasn't like no respect thing. Like, oh my god, you went to Mexico? Mm. Nah, f- no. It was just you know, you just got to meet and see different things. You know what I mean? Right. So the homies wasn't really tripping, but when I came back, it was all love. Shit, it was all love. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Definitely. Were you yeah. thinking about rapping during all this? Or? Nah, you know what? I, I would do like little freestyles and shit like that, but it wasn't no serious shit. It was just some um, backyard, you know, getting high with the thugs, uh-huh. you know, you know, kick a little freestyle. Okay. You know? And you were still in high school at this point? I never you? even went to high school. Even when you were in Mexico? No. Really? Yeah. What I had, the fuck were yeah. you doing? Pushing. Just hanging out every day. I, th- I, th- I thought they sent you there to go to yeah, high school. Yeah, but I, I got kicked out of two schools, man. I, I couldn't go to school. So I, you tried going to school there I and tried, they kicked you out I, twice? I, you were worse to, than all the other Mexican kids. Fool, I went over there, went to a school. I did good for like two months. And then I started seeing that my homies from my hood's family was over there. And it was over with. Done. I stopped going to school. I kept getting in trouble. My dad would force me to go, and then I stopped going. And then I told my dad, I would rather go work. Mm. Yeah, my dad was tripping. Okay. Hell yeah, he was tripping. And then after that, I ended up coming back. So when you come back, do you get a job out here? Or? Shit, I was working in construction. Okay. I was working in construction for a little bit, and then... Uh, but at the same time, shit, I was, I was in construction, but I was over there like... Scoping out the homies and shit like that. Because, you know, when you go to a different place, you know, you see people that you know and shit like that. You want to go kick it. Well, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Type shit. So I started getting in trouble again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you actually get locked up or like? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got caught up with a burner first and then it just added up to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So how long you get locked up for for that one? Nah, shit. Oh. It was my first time really getting in trouble, so. Okay. I was out that bitch. Okay. And then uh, I got caught with a f- Stolo. What's and that? I got like a, a G ride. What's a G ride? A stolen a G- car. Yeah. Okay. What? What? We don't say that. What do you, what do you, what do y'all say? A stolen car? Striker. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little more specific. Yeah. yeah, the striker. I mean, it depends though. You you what you? Well, if you I still never, a hoopty. If you still a hoopty, is a that a striker? Yeah, I mean, if you do the right thing with That's it. That's right? a boopty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no striker. <laughs> I've uh, I've never stolen a car. I don't think I've ever been in a stolen car. I don't think so. How you know? I don't know. But if they if they did <laughs> if, if it was, I never got told about it. Yeah. 